hi everyone i'm pratham and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can get started with numverify api offered by api layer it's one of the leading apis to validate phone numbers it is entirely based on rest principle so you can use this api using http various methods there are several different dynamic use cases of this api the first one is of course validating your users database using phone number to keep your application stay away from fraudulent activities. The other possible use case of NumVerify API is basically cross check your user's address as it provides geographical regions as well in their response. So there are other dynamic use cases as well you can think of for this NumVerify API. So in order to get started with NumVerify API, there is definitely a typical way to setting up your own project, write some code and then test out this API or there is an easy and quicker way that we have developed for you is making use of postman collection that we have created for you. So in order to use our postman collection, you of course have to go to our collection, which you can find at postman.com slash API layer. Once you go there, you will find a bunch of collections inside this collections tab. But for this moment, we are very much interested in numverify collection only. So if you go here you will find a well written documentation that can help you get started as well so the first thing we have to do here is of course fork this collection so that you can make changes in your private workspace once done click this fork collection button and it will create a fork for you give your fork a name and then choose the desired location simply click on fork collection and here we go here you can see this numverify collection is your local copy so you can make any changes here you want to play around with it test out all the endpoints numverify offer for a moment numverify offers two different endpoints the first one is validate as the name suggests it validates phone number the second one is countries which is nothing but returns a list of countries supported by numverify api with their international dialing code so in case you don't know about the dialing code of a particular company, you can make a call to country's endpoint. And in the basic request, you will see the URL of this endpoint is very simple. We have to pass the required number parameter with the phone number we are interested in. Make sure that you include dialing code as well. So in this case, it is one. Here you can see access key is also a required parameter, which is nothing but your API key. So in order to get that, uh, go back to the numverify official website here you have to create your account i'm already logged in so i'm directly going to the dashboard you can also access this dashboard via this url which is numverify.com slash dashboard here you will find your api key along with some other necessary informations like monthly usage your current subscription plan and other other stuff so simply copy your api key here and go back to the numverify collection here in order to prevent you from manually pasting your API key again and again, we have created this global collection variable for you, which is access key. Here you can simply paste your access key and hit save by pressing control and save or command save if you are in MacBook. Great. And now if I go back to my sample request, here you can see my access key is already here so now if i want to validate this particular number which i have passed in the number parameter i just need to click this send button over here and it will make a request as you can see we are getting the data back if i try to dig deeper into it it's a small response the valid key is of course true so this number is authentic and it provides other necessary information as well so the country code is plus one of course and the country name this number is from united states of america the carrier of this company this phone number is of course this this company and the line type is mobile not landline and other stuff so this is pretty much it for validate endpoints that's how you can validate different phone numbers or if you're cross-checking your user's address in your application you can definitely do that by making a request to validate endpoint as it returns country code and country name for a moment i'm going to show you how country's endpoint works so if i go here as you can see the url of this endpoint is very simple you just need to append an extra thing which is countries in the url my access key is already here as i have set it up in my global collection 
and here I'm going to click on send and let's see what what's the data we are getting okay it's a list of all the countries supported by numverify api with the dialing code so in case i'm not sure about what the dialing code of egypt is so i can make a request to this country's endpoint and it will return that it is plus 20. so that's how you can make use of this numverify api postman collection in order to get started very quickly and test out our numverify api thanks